Hi everybody, this is Joe Workman, and it's inevitable you've heard that Stacks 2 is here. And uh, with that comes a ton of updates, okay? Um, I have released over 60 updates for Stacks 2 users already, and have a lot more coming. However, I, I wanted to do a quick little video and kind of give you a run through on how the update process works so that you can handle it properly, okay? So as we see here, we have a Stacks 2 window. Now, Stacks will automatically check for updates with all of your Stacks, okay? However, it won't prompt you like it did before. You won't get a little window. So how do you know whether or not you have updates uh, ready to be installed? To do that, you basically go to your Stack Elements window, okay, which is you click on the first Stack. This is your now our new Stacks library, okay? And what you'll notice is uh, there are a bunch of red exclamation marks uh, on top of Stacks, okay? And that means that that stack has an update available for it. Essentially, to install this update, it's really simple. If you want to install a single update for a particular stack, all you need to do is highlight that one stack, then go into the bottom gearbox at the bottom and click Install Update. Okay, when you click on Install Update, that will open up the release notes for that particular stack. You can then go ahead and say download. It will download the new update and then you click install. And your stack is automatically uh, reloaded in your library. You don't need to restart Rapid Weaver. You don't need to do any of that. How cool is that? Okay. But there's even something cooler. Because as you see here, I have a ton of updates. Okay. So there's a second option here for installing all updates. And what this will do when you select this, Stacks will go through all of this, all of the items that you have flagged for update and then display its release notes individually and you can select download and install just as we did before. So you can click download, it downloads the stack and when you click install, it will then install of that, install that stack. And then what Stacks will do is it will go into the next stack in the list, display its release notes where you can then download, install. You kind of get the drift, lather, rinse, repeat. So basically you would do this for every single stack that's uh, available. Make sure that you do peruse the release notes in case there is something that you actually need to do or maybe if there's some incompatibility with a website that you're currently doing. So it is important that you actually review these release notes. So once you've gone through and actually updated all of your stacks, You'll notice that Stacks plugin takes care of reloading its library for you, and you do not need to restart Rapid Weaver at all. This is a huge plus from users of version one, where we had to actually restart Rapid Weaver every single time. So a huge win here for uh, for Stacks users. Now, as of this recording, there is a known issue where if you do the install all updates, um, it will crash from time to time. Uh, your head is aware of this issue, and they are working on it. So. Um, please be patient. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial and I'll talk to you later. Bye.